feels like it's 80 degrees. I walked outside. I had the Guido windbreaker in my hand. I was ready to throw that on. Shout out to my buddy Diamond Dave Biggs. Oh, yeah. That's a humdinger of a froth right there. Mm. Wow, look at the dust on that. What is that dust? I'm going to put this dust crusted thing down for a sec. Feel the power. I know yesterday I mentioned that, well, yesterday I mentioned I jinxed today's weather because yesterday I was like, oh, it's sunny out. Oh, I don't need the Guido windbreaker. Here we are day two. It's raining. It's miserable. I have the Guido windbreaker on. However, the Guido windbreaker always brings me good luck. Wow. I was not expecting to see this new McFarlane Dragons. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, people? Century Mad Collector here, back again with another video, back from Legion's Con, out of the old gym ski, and on to another toy hunting adventure we go. And there's not all that much I'm looking for right now, specifically. However, I did realize that I have yet to find the Ultimate Warrior figure from the latest Mattel WWE Superstars wave, so we are on the hunt for that, which means we are hitting some Walmarts here today. Outside of that, eh... New Motu, maybe, if there, not maybe, if there is New Motu, we are on the hunt for that. Will we find new, new, new Motu today? I don't know, but hopefully we will. And of course, whatever we come across that suits our fancy. Additionally, we will have a coffee talk here today. I have some Man Cave updates for you guys. Very exciting. And I'll also probably share in further detail my experience at Legion's Con because I'm still riding off the high of that. And I do owe you guys a toy haul video, which I plan to deliver uh, to you within the next week or so. So be on the lookout for that. If you haven't checked out the Legion's Con video, go ahead and do yourselves a favor and check that out. It's up on the channel right now. And without any further delay, folks, let's get this hunt underway. Target Portchester up first, up next, up first. It's coming up now. Whatever. Target Portchester. It has been a minute since we've been here. Dinos taking a little closer look. Looks like mostly all the same stuff, although this Mega Raptor, I don't know that I remember seeing him in my travels. Let me know in the comments, any of you dino guys, if that's new. Otherwise, it's kind of looking like all the same. Moving on down into, looks like a T-Rex, Hammond Collection, yep, and a whole peg of Dilophosaurus, and Ellie Sattler, We've got a Triceratops up here, some Buzz Lightyear stuff, moving on over into Motu Land, what do we got, anything new, 40 year Beastman, New Eternia, same old revelation, one Origins figure left on that peg. It would be nice to see a new wave of that. And it's always nice to see this 40-year He-Man with the Sun Man 3 pack. What's behind here? Is there just, no, it's just a ton of Sun Man 3 packs. Okay. So plenty here. Target Porchester, Princess of Power, Hordak, and Shira. Triclops, a few more Wardax here, that's nice to see. Some King Grayskull. Wow, look at this, a whole peg of Axe. It's a lot of the same TVC. And the same old Obi-Wan, Obi-Wan Retro. Ooh, this is new. New to the pegs, as of late at least. Got a. Chewy reissue there. Usual Lando stuff from what a, what was that wave? I don't know what wave that was. I don't even I don't remember. Five, eight, I don't know. Got a Sidious, Dengar. Almost that whole wave is here. Got the new Leia that's out. A lot of Lando Lando Lando. Dengar. Ooh, and a Han. 
part of the uh, latest release here. Pretty nice to see that Han and Chewie on the same peg where they need to be. Uh, what else? CM Punk, my buddy, shout out to my buddy Joe, he just found a chase of that guy just last week. Wow, Sammy Guevara. That's a whole lot of a lot of him here. Along with Ultimate Reigns. Wow. <laughs> there are a million Ultimate Reigns and uh, with a few Jeff Hardy mixed in. And then Series 16 looks like all right here. All right. And then heading over into DC McFarland land. Same old stuff. This is a, this is this power ring is cool. This is an awesome looking figure. I do not need any of this stuff, but nice little selection here. Mostly old stuff, but one or two figures new mixed in. Actually, one or two. I think it's just and this isn't even new. It's just kind of new to me. I haven't seen that on the pegs. Um, in a while. And I do like that Black Adam figure too that's out. Uh, Super 7 Reactions, Ninja Ku. And this idiotic line that they just need to throw into a fire and burn it all. Um, moving on over, Marvel Legends, some Iron Hearts, Black Panther and Baku, Blue Marvel. A whole bunch of legacy collection Black Panther stuff. Nice looking figure here. What else? Anything else here? I don't think that's... We've got the Homecoming 2-pack that you can't see. And... Spidey Noir. Still a good amount of these here, man. Wow. A lot of them. A lot more than the last time I was here. So that stuff's peg warming, kind of as expected. This door is awesome. The controller wave, which I feel like is just a Thanos repaint, but whatever. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for Target Porchester. So before we go, a little something that caught my eye. First time seeing this in a card. Art on this is awesome. I do have some of these Godzilla reactions already. So 54, 57, and Mecha, God, I have. That Mothra, I haven't seen in person, is probably awesome. But Jet Jaguar and Rodan is down, right down here. So let's take a look at this. Pretty awesome. And another Jet Jaguar. Right down here. So I do really want to pick this up. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick it up today, but cool to see. 650 main Wally World, we back. And this five pack is still here. Little fun co action for your asses. I really like these. These are cool. Well done. Nice little displays. Oh, look at that biggie. Oh, this is dope. And this is. It's got some nice little weight to it. Oh, I like this, man. This is fire. Rip big. Best to ever do it. Don't care what anybody says. And moving on over, we've got this Stratos still hanging out in the wrong spot. Got a Robocop. Got some movie turts. Turts McGurks. Got a mummy Mikey in the house in Wally World. Let's see. And it's for real. No fig swap. So good. Why don't we peg this guy up? And moving on down. Oh man. Moving on down into Hudson. Oh baby. Wow, look at the dust on that. What? Is that dust? That's the. I mean, this hasn't been down here long enough to be dusty. Wasn't here the last time I was here. Ooh. So, as most of you guys know, I am not collecting this line anymore. But 
I'll probably go after the vintage line. That really is what matters to me. But I'm going to most likely use this for my Mythic Legions. This guy in particular. Look at this, man. I think this is a buy. I think this is a go. I'm going to put this dust crusted thing down for a sec. Got a Batarang replica. Very nice. And I think that's it. Wow. A lot of action here in the NECA section of 650 Main. Why don't we go hit the main toy aisle and see what's going on over there? High hopes based off this. Approaching the main toy aisle here at 650 Main, slotting on in here. Mentioned this before, this is where Motu used to be, then it was where wrestling used to be, and now it's nothing really. Halo, got some Bandai Walmart EX Vegeta. Always get tempted to get into this, but I don't. I've watched very little Dragon Ball Z, that is, over the course of my life, and that's it. But these are awesome. Shout out to my buddy Big Dub and Kaya. I know these guys are all up in this stuff. Got a couple of the uh, exclusives here today. Flipping around into Dino Land. More of the same, Allosaurus who we don't see all too often, I wanna say. Daddy Dino, Craig Tello can confirm that, confirm or deny. But it's well stocked here, for sure. In the Dino section, we got these little plush. Pretty neat, pretty neat. They are pretty neat. Neato. Buzz Lightyear stuff. And we've got Walmart exclusive Joes, as in a peg and a half of Lady J with some Baroness on the side. Legacy collection, Transformers. Same old stuff. Autobot Skids. Is that new? I don't know. Go through this every single hunt. It's hilarious. Kickback. Sandstorm, Buzzsaw, those are not, those are nothing new, for sure. What's this? Yep, nothing new here. Um, flipping back around into Motu and wrestling. Ha ha ha. Wow, man, calling my shot. Two hunts in a row. And it's at the same place. This is exactly where I, I was hoping to find Ted... And, uh, oh, it's, I, wow, I made a mistake. It's not, it's not the latest wave. It's the Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, I guess the Outsiders and the Shawn Michaels wave. Oops, sorry about that. Um, but wow, I don't, hold on a second. Did I not pre No, I don't think I, I don't think I was able to get him on pre-order. I don't think. Picking him up. Anyway, called a shot. We were looking for Papa Shango and friends last time. We found him. Looking for Warrior this time. We found him. That's great. All of this Adam Page Walmart EX A dub. Wow. Oh, look at this. Two pegs. Two pegs worth of that. And I can tell you right now, no new Motu. Lovely. We got going on down here. Any flocked action? Some flocked Panthors. And Beyblade stuff. Marvel Legends. Some Legacy Collection. Not much. And then moving on over into the always well-stocked Superpowers area. Got the Batwing and the Supermobile. And it's Jonathan Stewart's great. Plenty of these figures got to hand it to uh toddy mcfarlane and look at that doesn't even crack two digits right there that's what i'm talking about got the batman who laughs a couple of those mixed in very nice we have found all of this previously and we're not collecting any of it so i just go after the vintage stuff obi darth vader tbc and Lando, and will he be gone? I might have to buy him for Christmas or something, give him a home for the holidays. I mean, geez Louise. 
And we've got the Star Trek Playmates area. Very nice. Got Captain Kirk. On him. Two of my favorites right here. All pegged up. And Spock. Very cool. And can't forget the Rangers. Shout out to the Legacy of Nerd. Go follow him if you aren't already. He is definitely your Power Rangers guy. This we don't see often. The Lunar Wolf. I've seen him maybe like three times. This being the third time. So nice to see that. Fury Red. Dino Charge Pink. Dropping stuff. I think some Zeo Cogs back there, right? Yep. Can't peg this. Peg, 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 peg. Okay. How about this? Peg? Great. And pegged. All right, folks, I think that's gonna do it here for Wally World 650 Main in Norwalk, Connecticut. The ultimate warrior is coming home with daddy. Feel the power. 680 Connecticut Avenue, Wally World, Norwalk CT. Dinos, what do we got? Not too much, but we do have blasting freaking music. Dime trodden. Feels new. New to me. And we've got some Avatar up here. I can honestly say I know nothing about Avatar. Five Night at Freddy's. What's this guy? It's pretty cool. It's got that designer vinyl feel to it. Look at this. Another mankind in our midst. And a Papa Shango, we've only found End of Ted. Wow, look at that. We only found one Papa Shango and he's all sorts of banged up. Might have to pick that up today. Clean card, maybe get him signed. He's usually over in my neck of the woods on the East Coast, you know, doing signings. So that's a real possibility I picked that up. Also, I haven't seen Leech since I first picked him up, which I think it was here actually, uh, which was a very long time ago. Anyway, flipping around, back around, Transformers. Same old stuff, but I can tell you right now, this is new. Road Hauler, Override. These, my friends, are new. Pretty sweet. A lot of Overrides and two Road Haulers left here at 680 Connecticut Avenue. What do we got up here? Velocitron Speedia 500 collection. Two of those. A Ravage Studio Series. Cool. New Transformers. And a lot of Baroness. And a lot of Lady J. And a lot of Marvel Legione. Legacy Collection. Got a Darwin back there. Bone Breaker Wave in the house. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. McFarlane, DC, Martian Manhunter, Lex Luthor, Batman, Dark Detective. Nothing new here at all. Jon Stewart. Got the uh, Frost King bath wave like back in stock. I've noticed the past like few weeks. Interesting. And look at this. Uh, who laughs? A couple of those. Got a Flash. Batman. Green Lantern. The whole gang is here too. And some Batwings and Supermobiles. All here. 680 Connecticut Avenue. And then last but not least, Star Wars. Got some Clone Wars figures left. Some Quills TVC. Zeo Cog. Playmates. Reissued Star Trek. And I think, folks, that's going to do it. We have uh, an empty wall. Wunderbar. Ba-ba-ba-bam. It feels like it's 
80 degrees here today in New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. Absolutely incredible. The sun is shining. The air conditioner is on. I lied, actually. My car is telling me it's 67 degrees. But it might as well. It feels like it's 80 degrees. I walked outside. I had the Guido windbreaker in my hand. I was ready to throw that on. Shout out to my buddy Diamond Dave Biggs. Uh, but no windbreaker necessary here today. Incredible stuff. Middle of November. Unbelievable. Excuse me while I take a sip of my coffee. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That's a humdinger of a froth right there. Mmm. Oh, baby. Excelente. We're here at the Elm Street location in Stamford, Connecticut. As nostalgic as the Donut Delight is over in Norwalk, historically, that's where we've done 95%, 99%, I'd probably say, of our coffee talks. The Euro fraps over the course of the past several months, not that anyone, I don't know how many people are going to care about a Donut Delight update, but you're getting one. They have not been good. It's like they don't put enough coffee in them now or something. And that was never always the case. It's like a recent thing. Um, but here I've been coming to this uh, Donut Delight for years as well. Always been good. And uh, now that I'm in Greenwich for work, I come here almost every day, once a day for one of these puppies always spot on. This is these, this is easily one of the best ones I've ever had. So, salute. Anyway, before we get into any other updates uh, here today, that was your Donut Delight update. Let me show you some of the finds, not some of the finds. I'll show you all of the finds. And this is not by any means the end of the hunt video, but I also don't know how many other things we'll be finding and buying on this hunt. I Like I mentioned earlier today, I don't really need much. And I pretty much found what I was looking for already. Um, with that said, I don't know. First of all, I confused this figure with Series 3, even though it's Series 2. I don't know if I ordered this guy off the Wally World app or not. I did a haul video where we had the Outsiders and uh, Sean, Heartbreak Kid. Um, and I just don't know if I was able to grab him off the app or not. But we'll find out when we get home. But we picked him up just in case. Uh, something that I mentioned here for Hudson, keep tapping things, I no longer am collecting Mecha Gargoyles, however, this is going to make for a perfect addition, addition, I don't know what I was saying there, addition to my Mythic Legions display, I think he'll fit in really nicely with the Ogre Scale figures, the Ogre Scaled figures. Um, I might even get this guy customized. Who knows? Speaking of Mythic Legions, Legions Con was amazing. It did not disappoint at all. And it was another pivotal moment in my collecting journey this year that reinforced where my collection focus from an action figure perspective needs to be. And it's something that's, I've always known, it's something that has never really changed, but I've obviously collected and and, and delved into other things. Um, whereas now with the collection room coming up, getting back out to some of these shows, my first ever Legions Con, Toylana, it happened in Toylana where some of the cabal was there and I was able to pick up some really cool stuff, which took all of my attention away from everything else there. And that's saying a lot because that show was incredible and there's no other way to describe that definitely going back next year big dub and friends but something i've always known for me is high fantasy has always been you know my favorite genre of art uh, movies pop culture collecting it's just been uh you know at the tippy tippy top of my uh of the uh, of my interest uh scale my entire life, really, and I've been collecting Mythic Legions essentially pretty much since the first Kickstarter, which was, I don't know when that was, 2015, something like that, six, seven years, a good six or seven years I've been collecting Mythic Legions, and that toy line, I can tell you guys, has only gotten better with time, the price points haven't changed, and now with the latest Necronominous wave, which 
If you haven't already, go uh, check out the Four Horsemen on YouTube. They streamed all day on November 4th, which was last Friday. Um, and they went over the Necronominous Wave. I don't want to spoil anything for anyone, anyone that wants to go and watch the whole thing and be surprised. But all I'll say is that the Horsemen, they know what their audience wants. And I can say they read my mind um, because all the things I was ooing and aahing over and then thinking, oh, I wish we could also have X, Y, and Z, they wound up delivering on. And those were some reveals at the very end um, of the stream which, you know, they're a step or two or 10 ahead of us. And that's amazing. And I can't really say that for any other toy maker um, that I'm aware of that's out there, really, at least not for me and my personal preferences. Um, they're definitely, you know, those guys are there for the people. Uh, they're making things that I think it's, I think what helps is that they're so, it's such a niche market and community. Um, it's not, something crazy mass produced and just it's like where you know things are just based on big corporate you know focus groups and whatever else that which i get you know that stuff makes sense and i get it but like these these guys just they, they know what their core audience wants they know what they like and they i think they i think they make stuff or and i'm not trying to put words in anyone's mouths but like you know i think they make stuff that they would want and they make stuff that they know their fan base wants because their fan base is like them and being at this show and seeing all of the booths there, I mean, there were there were some booths, I, you know, I was talking with some of the diorama guys who did their intern for a day and then they were offered a booth at Legion's Con and they had one. Uh, and they just started getting into dio making like as of like a year ago. Um, how often do you, do you see that, you know, those sort of opportunities happening, you know, in, in, in other places with other companies? Um, and you know, being able to 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 put to put real faces uh, with names, guys that I've I've spoken with that I consider friends before, even you know, being able to shake their hands physically at this at this show this past weekend, um, it's just a community like no other. Um, and the the amount of talent and imagination and creativity that was in that room was off the charts. And you put all of that together. And it makes for, for me, it's uh, that's that's a community like none other. Um, so again, I just want to thank the Horsemen, the entire Cabal, and everyone that I met and spent time with. I had a wonderful, wonderful time at Legion's Con. I was so happy that it was hosted right in my backyard, Secaucus, New Jersey. It's about 40, a 40 minute drive from me, so it was nothing. It was so easy to get to. Um, and hopefully they'll do it again at La Quinta Inn, the same place. That, that works. I hope we get it on the East Coast this close to home every single year. Um, and if we don't, that's a con I would make accommodations for to, to figure out how to get to. So um, really great time at Legion's Con. Go check out that video. If you haven't already, it's up on the channel now. Um, but anyway, so, you know, with all of that said, my main focus is going to be with modern toys. And I've mentioned this before, but it just continues to get reinforced more and more. Mythic Legions and Motu, that alone will keep me busy for uh an indefinite amount of time with the way both of those toy lines are going which is great it's a great time to be a motu collector it's a great time to be a mythic legions collector and i think a high fantasy collector in general we're seeing a lot more lord of the Rings stuff especially with high-end statues now you have for the first time options with things you know it's like for the first time we have you know a witch king of angmar being made in every scale you could possibly want quarter scale third scale and half scale all by different companies all with different price points um and they're all great options as far as i'm concerned you know it's like so for lord of the rings collectors uh shout out to my buddy haunt the collector he said it best you know you almost feel like a, a dc collector these days as a lord of the rings guy you know all these options it's it's crazy um so it's very exciting i'm collecting the, the prime one line i'm sticking with that as far as the statues go in Lord of the Rings, but I want my room, my man cave to be, you know, focused down to more or less one genre, one theme, and no more than, you know, a couple of toy lines uh, for the modern stuff. Vintage is where we can go crazy because it's vintage and that's different to me. So that's in my head, that's that's the way I work. So I, I have no reservation about spending my disposable action figure money on Mythic Legions and that's never changed and I've never wavered from that. So that's what I'm going to stick with. Some of this other stuff, I feel like my love for it goes in and out. 
my thoughts and opinions on the toy lines, you know, themselves kind of go in and out. And um, again, with I think the amount of money that we're spending on this stuff, uh, uh, for me, I'm taking a harder look as to it's not even really even just about the the, the price points and the the price hikes, the egregious price hikes, and you know not wanting to support certain things. And that's I definitely have my thoughts and opinions on that. And I won't support something that I feel is totally egregious um, and unjustifiable in every way. Um, but again, that's different to each person. Uh, just with the with the man cave now um, starting to come to fruition here conceptually and now even physically, um, I really see what I want to do and spend my time, space, and money on, you know, and, and it's legions and Motu. Uh, so that's really what we're sticking with. And speaking of the man cave, perfect segue there. Met back up with my uh, contractor, the main contractor and the electrician from four months ago. We did another walkthrough since I now have finally set uh, what I want to do in that room for reals, for reals. Uh, it is going to be so exciting to get this thing going. And construction's going to resume within another week or so. I just got my permit paper back. I just went to the bank and got it notarized. I'm going to hand that back to my contractor later today. And we're going to have the electrician come back. He's gonna start roughing some stuff up. He's gonna get his permit based off of my permit. Long story short there, construction is about to resume and we are hoping to get this done before my wedding, which is uh, February of 2023. So um, hopefully the electrical work, you know, will be done within the next month or so. And then we've got insulation, sheetrock, flooring, painting, and then cabinets. So, and I'm going all custom. It has taken me several months of being down there. The Jersey Geek knows, shout out to him. Um, several months of going down there and just living in it, living in this empty shell, uh, figuring out what I wanna do and how I wanna do it. And I think we got it and it's very exciting. So a lot more to come on that very soon. Next year is going to be a very, very, very exciting year for this channel, no doubt. And last but not least, Eternia. The Eternia playset did not reach 10,000 backers, so that means no Keklar. Uh, what I say to that is bummer, because I really wanted Keklar. Um, and come on, for the, the amount that we're paying for this, look, we, we, we all know we're overpaying, you know, for, for this crowdfunding project. I, and I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. I personally am cool with overpaying for this thing. Um, it makes sense to me, especially where I think Mattel was shrewd, uh, and smart. They're not, I'm sure they're not turning a blind eye to the aftermarket and what's going on with the vintage set, uh, which is very hard to find and super duper duper expensive. So, you know, they undercut that by a little bit or by a lot, which they did. You know, the, the vintage set online is thousands of dollars if you're going to find it, or do you want an updated version, which I think looks fantastic, um, for you know, a somewhat egregious amount of money, um, but a lot cheaper than uh, the vintage set. And for me, that is worth it. You know, if that has further implications of price hikes for the line, all of this stuff, which I mentioned in my early to mid-October Toy Walk video, where we talked about the Attorney play set, um, you know, my feelings haven't, haven't changed on that. And that's, and that's, and that's, this is just me. I'm not, I wasn't trying to sell the play set of course, and all the, these are just my opinions and I'm giving you my reasons and thoughts behind why I'm backing it makes sense, you know, for me. Um, but for anyone that sits there and says it's overpriced and I would never do it, I hear you and I don't disagree. Um, but for me as a big Motu collector and as someone that never had that attorney set, it is something that I want. So with all that said, since we are overpaying for this crowdfunding business, can you just throw Keklar in Mattel Creations? I mean, come on. So what are you just not going to get it? You're going to show it to us? Or can you extend uh, the crowdfunding for a week? And so it stalled, crowdfunding stalled at like around 8,000 backers. And then the past 24 plus hours, we went from like 8,200, 8,300. And then we passed, uh, we eclipsed 9K. And then we ran out of time. So um, big time bummer. I feel like if we had an extra week, we'd hit it. But uh, oh well. 
Anyway, let me know in the comments who wound up backing Eternia. Um, I think I'm going to do, and I think I'm going to do like a big Eternia wall uh, down in the man cave once it's built, and we're going to do the, all the other action sets, the play sets around it, Gray Skull, Snake Mountain. Once that comes out, since that's been announced, um, and I think I'm going to have a uh, custom dio set up for that stuff to sit on, along with custom dios for my Mythic Legion. So all on the same wall. But uh, anyway. That's it, folks. This is a lengthy one. I will definitely be uh, putting chapters into this video. Uh, so if you guys want to skip uh, to or through uh, this segment, you can. And as far as the rest of this hunt goes, I think we will hit... We're done today. We'll hit some targets. I have to go over the bridge and through the woods to Spring Valley tomorrow. So we'll hit the Spring Valley target tomorrow and then probably end uh, the Palisades Mall target. So two more targets and then we'll call it a hunt. I will see you guys tomorrow, or I guess in two seconds. Target, Spring Valley, we're back. Bakugan Beyblade, flipping around. A little wrestling action here. Looks pretty well stocked. Bunch of Mach, some more Mach. Jeff Hardy, I don't like you pointing. I don't like you pointing at things. Um, Dark Troopers, oh, first time seeing this. Book of Boba, Boba whole rack of that and series 16 legends up there some aw powerhouse hobbs what's behind him what is behind him I actually didn't see that oh chris statlander we don't need that or anything with aw unless it's arn anderson which we're not finding him today <laughs> Uh, TVC, Boba, Star Wars, blasting the house music here. I really hope I'm not going to have to edit this stuff out, but we shall see. Masters of the Universe, Princess of Power, a bunch of Hordax and Shiras, Peggy Stratos, Jitsu, got a Beast Man up here, and what else? Some Gray Skulls down there. Flipping back around into the Abomination Joes. And DC McFarlane. Nothing else in. Ooh. This is new. Oh, man. Wow. It's awesome. Very cool. We found Death Metal Batrocitus. Looking beefy. More Batman. Cool. Speeding bullets. This is definitely new. Cool to see that. A few of those. Nightwing. And what else? Moving on down. Power Rangers. Ninja Pink. Zio Yellow. Not really seeing anything new for. Transformers and dinos at first glance looking all kind of the same. Some Hammond collection. Two pegs of Dilophosaurus. Seen a lot of that lately. And I think that's going to do it for the main toy aisle, but why don't we go check all these end caps? Nothing here. This end cap last time had some stuff. This time, just a bunch of Boba TVC. More Boba Fett. It looks like Frosty Mando was replaced. At, oh, he was not replaced by anyone. Still Frosty Mando and just a uh, book of Boba Boba hanging out here. All right, why don't we go check NECA, see if anything's going on over there. And pulling up to the NECA section here. Not really seeing, ooh, I was gonna say, not really seeing anything all too new. I lied. Ooh, this looks really good. We'll have to find the rest of this. What else we got back here? Anything else new? Nope, looks like same old stuff. That's cool to see. Creep show, this is also new. 
could open this thing up without. There we go. Good look at that. Pretty cool. Oh my God. Here it is. Wow. I was not expecting to see this. New McFarlane Dragons are here. A lot of them. Yes, the Guido Windbreaker for the win. I'm wearing a windbreaker here on day two. It's rainy and gross out. Holy moly, wow. This is excellent. We are buying this. I can't believe this is actually here today. Uh, anything else to look at here? Got some Elvira packs? No, but wow, this is awesome. All right, all right, all right. We're just getting back to the car here on a very rainy day two, just getting out of Target Spring Valley, as you guys saw. I know yesterday I mentioned that, well, yesterday I mentioned I jinxed today's weather because yesterday I was like, oh, it's sunny out. Oh, I don't need the Guido Windbreaker. Here we are day two. It's raining. It's miserable. I have the Guido Windbreaker on. However, the Guido Windbreaker always brings me good luck. And because we had great luck here at Target Spring Valley, I think we're going to end the hunt here on a very, very high note. We found things that I didn't expect to see at all in this hunt, which is great, especially this last find. And I just, I want to end on a positive note. Uh, so I know yesterday I mentioned we were going to come to this target here in day two, and then the Palisades Mall West Nyack target, but we're just going to quit while we are ahead. So with that said, that rhymed, here is the final pickup of the hunt today. Dragons are here. They're no longer coming. Dragons are here at Target. McFarlane, Dragons. The legacy line continues here. Take a look at all of this. Eternal Clan. And if you think this could be a great addition to a Mythic Legions collection, you would be correct. I am so excited to have this. This is easily the pickup for the hunt here today for me packaging the box is very nice as well super excited to have this if you guys are looking for your dragons go get them they're at target and that folks is going to do it thank you all as always for taking the time to check out this video to check out the channel please like comment subscribe and share i'm getting the dragon back in his little box here a little, little bag whatever and i will catch you on the next one peace uh -huh.